Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tsai. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to repair an Apple Watch from your old iPhone and then sync it with your new iPhone. So I've got my iPhone 12 Pro here, which is my old device, and this has been paired with my Apple Watch Series 8 here. And here we're going to move it onto my new iPhone 14 Pro. And this device has already been set up with my previous iCloud backup. And today I'm going to teach you how to make this all work so that the Apple Watch is going to pair with the new device without losing any of your data. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac tutorials. So the kind of confusing thing about the Apple Watch is that it has a pairing relationship with a single device. So if you want to move it onto a new iPhone, which you're going to inevitably going to upgrade for, then you're going to basically have to reset the Apple Watch and then pair it again to the phone. So the basic method on how to do this is that we basically need to erase and reset all factory settings on the Apple Watch and kind of make it as if it's a brand new watch. And then basically we're going to restore the backup from the new phone. So we've already restored the iCloud backup on the new phone and then it should pick up all of your old data. So we're going to go ahead and log into our Apple Watch. So the basic way to do this is that we press on the crown button on the right hand side here. And that's going to take us to our app list. So mine looks like a list like this. Yours might look like a big bubble where there are lots of different circles. Basically you want to find the one which looks like this gray circle here which says settings. And then what we're going to do is to press the settings icon. And then we're going to scroll down and then find general. So tap on general here. And then we're going to scroll down until we get to the reset section here. So tap on reset. And then we have the option here which says erase all contents and settings. I'm going to tap on that. And then we're going to enter the passcode that we've set for this Apple Watch. It's saying here all media data and settings will be erased. The activation lock will not be erased. That's okay. Here we're going to press erase all. So this is going to be erasing. So just wait for that to complete. That just means that it's working. So you can see after a couple of minutes, you can see this dial on the right is going in a circle. So that just means that it's completing the reset process. So just wait for that to finish. So now the Apple logo is booting up. So you can see here another set of lighter ring lights are starting to rotate around. So just let that finish. So now this is ready. It's saying here that we need to bring our iPhone up to the Apple Watch, almost as if it's a new device. So now that I've brought the Apple Watch and the iPhone together, it's saying here that we're going to set up the Apple Watch using the iPhone, press continue. Here we're going to set up the watch for myself. I'm going to hold up the Apple Watch to my camera. And now my Apple Watch is paired. So here we can make sure that we restore from the correct backup. You can press customize settings. So you can see here that it's going to be restoring from a backup that was made earlier this morning. So I'm going to tap on this, press continue. Announcing here the setting language and it's continuing the setup process. Here we're going to agree to the terms and conditions. And then what we're going to do is to log into our iCloud account. So now we're going to complete the watch setup process and we're not going to share analytics. We're going to make our passcode. So we just type in our passcode here and confirm. Here we're going to make our text bigger or smaller. I'm going to choose small, press continue, continue, press OK here. Press continue, skip this step, press continue. We're going to set up Apple Pay later, press continue. Here we can choose whether we want apps to be in grid view or list view or prefer list view. And that's saying that the Apple Watch is syncing. Here we press done. So I'm going to put this down now. You can see this dial is moving. So just wait for that to finish. So now our Apple Watch has fully restored. We have all of these same settings as before. All of the customizations have been restored from my previous backup. If we look on the watch app on the phone, you can see here we can go ahead and customize this. But it basically has the same watch face that I set before, despite the fact that we've paired onto a new phone. So anyway, that's how you go ahead and move your Apple Watch from an old iPhone to a new iPhone. It's a little bit counterintuitive, but we got there in the end. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other videos like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.